you know, most former players have a fairly good uh, feel for the game. Yeah, I didn't see that. Uh, I, I, one stage, an umpire did get knocked over. Did you, you oh, recall actually, that? Oh, that, that uh, was umpire uh, Howes now that you mentioned it, to be quite and, honest. And uh, whether he uh, sort of uh, got what? some sort of injury and cooled down yeah. and uh, has affected him, <coughs> uh, maybe that's the problem. Could have done. So, uh, umpire now seeking uh, clearance from the two captains. I'll just see if I can pick up some matchups. I don't okay. think it looks like there's any. So the ball's held aloft, the siren, as you've heard, has sounded, and we're underway in the third quarter. Jamie Weiss, nice tap down. Sean Lewis for Belpost Till attacks the footy. Elzinger, he went without it, pulled to the ground, goes to half forward for Belpost Till. Chris Fryers for North Geelong, leads in the race for the footy. Numbers against him, but he kicks it off the ground, mark. and there's a good mark. Mm. Just uh, hands outstretched ahead of the face. It looks a bit like... Uh, Sean, Sean Lewis, Lewis again, he's had a couple of touches in the first 20 seconds, kicks it long inside 50, bell post till, well they've got to go all out in this quarter, Nathan Lewis picks it up, hooks it back towards the corridor from the forward pocket, on his own there is uh, mm. Troy Elzing, and that's got to be 50 I guess because, uh, well even it was marginally late wasn't it, and uh, the rule says if you put the player down it is 50 in going for the marking contest or free kick so I guess we understand that one, don't doubt about it. Yeah, that was fair enough. He uh, it was a clean mark. It was a gutsy mark too, Elzinger, and just stood his ground and then copped it and he heard the cavalry coming. <laughs> so Elzinger now was a man on the mark, now in the centre. Goes towards uh, Anjelkovic. Didn't try to mark it, but unfortunately kicked it back over, hit it back over his head. All bell post till. Now it comes back to Elzinger in the centre, centre circle. The big, booming torpedo. That's got to be a free kick, I reckon, to Todd Elsie. Yeah. Uh, McAuliffe. I reckon he did it most of the second quarter and got away with it on that occasion. Very blatant, over the shoulder ball, certainly not within 20 metres to start with. And uh, Todd Elsie now, <coughs> man on the mark at 40, directly in front. I guess if there's any bruised lorry, it's behind him. Yeah, I'll him. Sorry, go on. Just got to steer this one, I think, uh, Phil. I, so wrote, I wrote him down for an absolute late amateur earlier. I'll tell you what, you can know that one down. Oh. The goal up boy hardly moves as Todd Elsie kicks his fourth. And that's the first goal for the third quarter, an important goal for North Geelong as they uh, try to develop some ascendancy now in this game. 10-13-73, they lead Bell Post still 7-6-48. Raiders bingo, third quarter scoreboard, two minutes gone. Yeah, well, that was a better execution of the kick there. Then he got his body right over the footy. That one, there was a bit sloppy up there into the breeze there. But he's had, I, I'm putting these stats down here, guys, as, I call, as you call them. He's had seven kicks and kicked four goals, in my yeah, view. So that'd be about right, you reckon? Yeah, very he's good. kicked four, four goals, one, yeah, four, yep. one. So, he, yeah, he's, so he's, he's going been, all right. He's been competing, Loz, and that's important yeah. Yeah, look, look he's, he's going to be a good player, Eric, I think. So, ball back in the middle of the ground. We used to go at it with uh, Marinovic. No one really wins it to Hardman. Feeds it off beautifully, running through the middle there. His teammate uh, just trying to pick up who it is. It might have been Fitzsimmons, yes, it was. Kicks right. it long, and the little fella there in Ryder, CC Ryder, has got the football. Tell you what, he attacked the footy and took a very strong chest mark, didn't he? Yeah, not much of him, but... Um, uh, got good skills. He knows where it is. <laughs> now, I'm just trying to ascertain how far he'd be. Just beyond 50. He's a fair way out. We've got a good line on this. He's kicked it off the side of the boot. It goes right. No one takes the mark. Ball to ground. They might concede here, yes. Bell Post still. They rushed. do. And rush through by Lima. So, uh, one behind the result. I'll just mark that down to Rush, who never kicked a goal in his <coughs> career, but gee, he scores a lot. Yes, he does. 10 14 74 North, 7 6 48 Belpost Hill. Raiders Bingo third quarter scoreboard, three and a half minutes gone. Ball back into play now and going the short way home, and that's what they need to do. It's Marinovic takes the mark. Here's the climb from behind. No, Zitko stands his ground. Good play. It's a two, uh, two man war down there. Hardman. Zitko gets it out to Hardman. Hardman ducks and weaves around, just spots oh. one out of the side. Good vision. He's a classy footballer, Hardman, isn't he? Well, we know that. And he's got Manning. Manning just steps into one. Ooh, oh, dodgy <laughs> kick. You're juggling one-armed <laughs> attempt down there. Gee, uh, it's Fitzsimmons, I think. Fitzsimmons, yeah. Fitzsimons. Shane Manning put him under a bit of pressure, didn't he, with the little chip kick? Yeah, it was just he just roped it in with the, uh, the hand on his tippy toes, and he's got the ball, Fitzsimmons. And, gee, not too far out either. Should be able to kick this. It'll only be 20 metres, 25 metres out. Bit of an angle, but not impossible. Should be able to kick it. Puts it on its way, allows for the breeze and steers it home. Good goal. Yeah, good goal. 
outside. Fitzsimmons with his first for the afternoon and North Geelong on their merry way. And they stretch it out to 31 points. That's their 11th. 11, 14, 80. They lead Belfast Hill yet to score in the third quarter. 7, 6, 48. Raiders bingo third quarter scoreboard as we approach five minutes. And uh, well, that kick to me, Laurie, indicated this fellow's played a bit of footy. Yeah, I think so, Eric. And uh, look, I think... Uh, not too long at the moment if they uh, able to kick a few more goals can blow this right out of the water, I think. They're just playing too good at the moment. <coughs> so back in the middle. Too many options. Yeah, well, at the moment, they're, they're creating the loose man too easily, aren't they? All over the ground. As the ball goes up, Weiss. Marinovic now in the ruck, but he misses the uh, the tap down. Uh, bent down to pick it up there was uh, Al Zinger. Handball comes from Weiss to... Uh, Hardman put down after he kicked the footy, no, said the umpire, and uh, Zitko didn't get the mark, but he uh, played on very, very well, made a contest and gets the ball to Elsie, through his hands, comes to ground, picked up by Shane Manning, he's hooked it around the body, he's kicked it, and uh, from a very difficult angle in the uh, forward pocket, Shane Manning, who doesn't miss too many of those, I've got to say, has kicked his second for the day, and the floodgates are starting to open, perhaps. 12th goal for North Geelong, 12-14-86. They lead Bell Post Hill, 7-6-48. Raiders Bingo third quarter scoreboard, now six minutes gone. Yeah, well, it's kick number 15 for Shane Manning, so he's having a pretty good afternoon, along with uh, Nathan Lewis had 15 as well. Gee whiz, three goals in the twinkling of an eye. Mm. Yeah, really open the wounds. That, that can uh, swing it around, can't it? Certainly can. Ball up and down in the middle of the ground. Holiday goes at it, went without it. Back on it for uh, Belt Post Hills. Hardy, hand passes smothered. Here's Fries for the Magpies. Steps into the right footer. Gets it to Fitzsimmons, who's been busy on the wing. Just all on his own. Kicks it long. Lazy, lazy kick it was too. Back onto it for Belt Post Hills. Bakley. He's got time to have a bit of a look around. Spots up Lewis. Sean. Just points at the umpire, doing a bit of umpiring, and then steers it left. Good play. They've still got the ball, Bell Post Hill, from the wing. Forward move needed now. Looking for Page. He's two out. Oh, gee, it might wind up with Page. No, he can't quite control the footy. Kick out of the pack towards the Magpies' goals. Gets to centre-half forward. The big man there in Vesey. Picks it up on the oh. uh, second grab oh. and the lovely left foot Too kick. easy. Zitko just says, oh. kick it over here, big fella. And he <laughs> says, no problem. And 50. Put, and another 50. Put down yep. after. It was quite blatant, that one, I'm afraid. Put down after he took the mark, and uh, well, you can put that in the book. I think uh, the amazing part, Laurie. I don't know whether you're watching Zitko, but the moment Vessi got the footy, Zitko ran to the open space on half forward flank, and uh, good vision by Vessi. And now Zitko just uh, slots the goal, so that's uh, goal number two for him. And really, it's starting to uh, look very, very serious for Belpar still because that's the 13, 13, 14, 92 North Geelong. 7-6-48, Bell Post Hill, Raiders bingo, third quarter scoreboard. We're only just getting towards eight minutes and Phil, it's yeah. <laughs> starting to look like uh, yeah, well, ugly. It, well, it's good footy, isn't it, when you run yep. into that space and, uh, you know, if, you, if you've got the capabilities to do it and you do it enough, the players are aware of that's going to happen and they can just drop it over the top and you're going to run onto it and uh, Mario Zitko in that situation is a very good player. So, uh, f a four-goal blowout in this term already. It's out to 44-point lead for the Magpies. Back in the middle again. Marinovic wins it for Bell Post Hill. Who's there for uh, the Panthers? Whistle on play, free kick. Fitzsimmons we'll go to the again. Magpies. He's had it on the string. Fitzsimmons in this Has quarter. he ever? Socks down, jumper out. Not much of him, but uh, he's had plenty of the ball. Inside 50. Oh, should have taken the mark there. Big leap from Fursland. Dropped it. Opportunity for Bell Post Hill, second opportunity. Vincent Handley kicks it to the broadcast wing and taking a nice mark on his chest as Brent Harty runs away from his opponent and runs his full measure. Inside 50 goes the kick. Oh, juggling attempt, Holiday Dropped it. Here's Fitzsimmons again. And flop to the ground. Umpire says, uh, give it to me, we'll have a ball up. He needs a rest, I think. There's only one umpire <laughs> out there at the moment. Ball in the air, right on the 54 Bell Post Hill. Swatted down by Holiday to Lewis, gets it to Hardy has to duck and weave, feeds it back to Vincent Hanley, steady right Ooh. foot kick, Ooh, gee had a little bit more time I think than he thought and he kicked it to the right, one behind. That's their first score for the quarter, 7-49 seven, <coughs> seven Bell Post Hill, 13-14-92 North Geelong Raiders bingo, third quarter scoreboard we've ticked past 9 minutes <coughs> that was a better movement of the footy loss but yeah. uh, the end result wasn't what they required unfortunately no. Maddie King hasn't had a kick this quarter. It hasn't been down there. 
Ooh, I don't know where he's kicking that. King with the ball. Puts it in. He was kicking to centre half back, but Page is going to turn it over. Opportunity Fursland. to make it the seven point play. They do it. Good play. Fursland took the hand pass on the way by from Page, and uh, one behind becomes seven. Nice goal for Bell Post Hill, and uh, chipping, chipping, chipping away back. But they've been doing that all day, really, haven't they? Yeah, they so they chip back <coughs> and then uh, blows out again. So the eighth goal for uh, Bell Post Hill, 8 7 55. They trail North Geelong 13 14 92. Raiders bingo. Third quarter scoreboard, 10 minutes gone. And Loz, uh, let's hope that the North just don't go back into the shell, as appears to have happened in the first two quarters. The team that comes out with all guns plays <laughs> yeah. go to sleep. Yeah, well, it'll be a good test to you. I think that's a, that's a, that, that can be a little bit infectious, can't it, if you allow that to happen in your game. It happened uh, this week, it happens next week, and you'll find you have trouble getting out of it. So... You know, they want to uh, try and put as much pressure as they can, this poor boundary up. I can't pick the ball up now. <laughs> <laughs> he's only about 12. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think he's that old. But uh, poor choice for on King on that kick in then, I thought. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll <coughs> take one mark off for him for that, I think. So ball back in the middle. And Djokovic in the ruck. Umpire to put the ball in the air. Oh, gee, the wind got that as Marinovic gets a tap down. Only as far as uh, Hardman. Handball to Anjokovic. Now off a step towards centre forward. Mark. Good diving mark there by Popovsky. Now in defence for Belpost Hill. So that's centre half back. Popovsky at the 11 minute mark. 92 plays 55. Popovsky goes long towards centre wing. Big pack of players there. Marinovic doesn't take the mark. Friars, lovely handball to Hardman. Another handball over the top to Manning. Runs onto the footy. Unfortunately, missed it. Kennedy, good tackle. Ball dropped in the tackle. Play on, said the umpire. Now it stacks on the mill. And uh, just outside the 50-metre arc at centre-half forward for North Geelong. The umpire will put the ball into the air. 11 and a half minutes gone. 92 plays 55. It's North big in man, front. Big man Weiss fists it down to uh, Marinovic, who kicks it inside 50 and just accepting the mark on his chest. CC Ryder. Gee, he's a good little play. Just gets where the ball's going. Well, he was in front, uh, Phil, and if you're in front, you're going to win those uh, kicks that come quickly out of the stoppages, and that's exactly what happened. Then in front, he's going to get probably a chance was, to kick in, another he goal. He was in he's front by two or three metres. Oh, last that's right. Yeah. So there's the kick on its way from 40. Just puts it on its way and runs back with a high, high five. No problem whatsoever to Ryder. He has his second. Yes, that's a very good goal. And it's the 14th for... Uh, the North Geelong side, and uh, they're going merrily on their way. 14 14 98. The lead bell pass till 8 7 55. Raiders been going third quarter scoreboard. 12 minutes gone now as uh, Brad Scan walks past in front of us with no boots on. And uh, Well, just before half time, Eric, you got a hit on the cheekbone and uh, went in the train, had a bit of a good look, and uh, I think uh, probably decided to. Uh, Maybe best to give him a bit of a rest. Okay, so uh, they can, can ill afford, I, I believe, uh, talking to Sid Jones earlier, they've got about 14 players out injured, senior players, so they can't afford to get uh, too, many too many injuries, can they? <coughs> no, there's certainly not much in the seconds to pick on, I wouldn't have thought. So just on 13 minutes in the third term, the Premiership caught up, and uh, it's all one-way traffic pretty much for the Magpies. They lead by 43 points, and Djokovic wins it. Towards Zitko, taken off him by Lewis. His uh, the other Lewis, Sean, on the end of the hand pass, kicks it to centre half four. There's the dash of uh, Barnett. Good play, just sweeps by and then boots it wide, looking for Kennedy. Can he control? Hot on his hammer was Matt Ellis, and he'll see the ball over the line for a boundary throw in centre wing, out of sight of the ground here at Osmond Park. A bit of a change in the back half for Belfast. Still, I see McAuliffe now on Ryder. So. <laughs> Yes, well, yeah, well he's... They're uh, going to try something, haven't they? Yes. Looking dangerous, Ryder. Very, very dangerous. Kick two for the afternoon. Ball to be thrown in. Centre wing, out of sight. And Djokovic goes at it with Marinovic. Lots of Vicks there. To Vincent Hanley. Off a step. Right foot kick around the body. He was looking for Page. Missed him. Over the line boundary throw in. Page has to go and fox the footy. I don't know what you think, Laurie. Why would Belpost Hill be running a loose man in defence there. Goals behind. You can't win by saving the game. You've got to get goals, no, surely. That, no, that's no, always a poor choice in my opinion, Eric. So the throw in. And Djokovic winning well in the ruck now. Gee whiz, they're just belting it along. Hardman into the path of Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons kick towards oh. Elsie. Gee whiz, training drill stuff. Inside 50. Takes it on the chest. It's been impressive. He's kicked four, Elsie. Uh, wants to play it quickly. Doesn't fancy his chances from the boundary line on 48 metres. He'll have to steady and take the kick. Puts it up. 
stands up in the breeze. Where's Vessi? There he is. Takes the <laughs> mark, just pushes him out of the way and says, look out, boys, I'm, I'm going to have a catch. It was, it was just uh, yeah. sheer strength, wasn't it? So he just shrugged him out of the way, Vessi. Now he's, uh, he's hard up on the boundary too and he's into the breeze, so it's no, no easy kick. You want to play on a sail, will he go the big boomerang? No, onto the left foot and spins it around. Kicks a goal, I think. No, no off to the right, one behind. Gee, they a bit too severe, wasn't it? Fool you beautifully, these, bent, these goal umpires, yeah. don't they? 14 15 99 North Geelong, 8 7 55 Belpast Hill Raiders, Bingo third quarter scoreboard. 15 minutes gone, and uh, they still persist, Laurie. I know you don't enjoy this, the coach kicking off from the uh, behind. Yeah, no, I don't like it because uh, he's got to be the playmaker up in the middle of the ground, surely. So he's kicked to himself and kicks toward the middle of the ground and then finds uh, Popovich, who, who in fact is the man playing loose in the uh, defensive half. He finds Fursland on centre wing, takes the mark and runs on quickly. Kicks long towards half forward. Belpo still oh. a good position, can't take the mark. Coming in there, oh, thrown out there to uh, into the arms of Hardy and uh, for Belpo still as Urquhart comes back to Hardy. Great tackle there by... Uh, well, it was a terrific tackle by Chris Barnett. Umpire He's gonna bounce it. said no prior opportunity. I think he was running for goal and uh, had no other intention, but the umpire's put it in the air immediately. Yeah. On his own there was Holiday. He was uh, impeded there. The ball goes across the face of goal by Chris Fryers. Out to Zitko. And North are away. Zitko's had one bounce. He's now had three bounces. He's run outside 50. Draws a couple of players. Goes long to centre-half forward. It's uh, over the head there of players competing. Todd Elsie, handball flicked out into the path there is Fitzsimmons. He's having a quarter and a half at full forward. It is Vessi, one out against two. Hasn't got the pace to survive Vessi and Belpost still take it away. They really had nothing to kick to and uh, gone to open spaces. But the ball are picked up there by Lorgerson. Goes to centre wing and Sean Lewis takes the mark on that occasion ahead of Anjokovic. So Sean Lewis now... Well, they're slowing it down too much, Lyle. Surely they need to get the ball moving. But uh, it's a good choice. The oh. player, well, all the players... Well, sun in their eyes. Players looking into the sun in the middle of the ground, Belpost Hill. And uh, at the back of the pack, it's picked up by Nathan Lewis. Runs inside 50 with two bounces. Terrible kick off the boot. It's going to land in the goal square in the arms of Mario Zitko. A great mark in defence to North Geelong. Zitko, plenty of time. Spots up Norwich. Half back, broadcast side of the ground. Sun shining. Norrish to Hardman. Just he backs goes. himself and darts away. Onto the left he goes, Hardman, and kicks a shocker. <laughs> when you start to wrap him, Bill Post Hill, the turnover opportunity. One way, then the other goes McCaller. Finally gets the kick high to centre half forward at the back of the pack there, just taking on his chest. Zitko feeds it wide to King, all on his own. Defensive 50. They send play towards Fitzsimmons, who's killed him on his wing in this turn. He's got meters in front of him. Picks up the ball and then just drops it onto the boot looking for Vessi. Clears the pack Vessi. Doesn't get it out. Wells mops up. Just steadies the ship a little bit. Oh he's kicked it out in the full. Oh dear that's um, already had time. He's looking for Ellis. But there's no excuse. They had two no. spare players didn't they on the wing? They did as um, the Magpies go forward again. Had a side. It might have been Fitzsimmons again on the yeah, end of that it was. it was. Kicks it inside 50. Elsie wearing his uh, opponent down there. It's uh, the first goal kicker of the Looks afternoon. Like, uh, Broughton, Broughton. In defense. Yeah. yeah, and um, uh, Elsie just follows him over the line. We'll get a boundary throw in. Forward pocket, out of side. Good day for football. Maybe just a little bit too much breeze. Marinovic over the top. Manning went without the football in the end. Bell post hill. Opportunity now. On the end of it, Nathan Lewis screams for it and gets it. Takes a bounce and runs outside uh, centre half back. Into the middle. Vincent Hanley takes it. Juggling attempt. They've got to set up the loose man here into the wind. They have. Hanley kicks it over the top of him. Here's Hardy. One bounce. Inside 50. Needs to bounce again. He's got a paddock. He, no one's telling him. He has a shot on goal. He'd want to oh, kick it. He He'd want to kick it. He has kicked it, I think. I thought it might have been touched at the last moment. No, one goal. That's uh, that's very good play from Bell Post Hill in the end, Laurie. Yeah, very good. Uh, look, he's got a fair bit of the footy, that Hardy, too. I haven't seen him before. We haven't seen him ever. No, no, he's, he's a, a new, new player, player, I think. I don't know where he came from. but uh, He could have run another <laughs> 10 metres. Yeah, it was, he finished that off beautifully, though, all the same. So, ninth goal to Bell Post Hill. 9-7-61. 
They trail North Geelong's 14, 15, 99. Raiders bingo third quarter scoreboard. We've ticked past 19 minutes. I think the umpire gave him a bit of latitude there. He must have run 30 metres yeah. before he kicked it, but uh, it's in the scorebook now as the ball cleared out in the middle. It's a wide tap down by uh, Angelkovic, picked up by Nathan Lewis for Belpost Hill. He's got Alice breaking wide on centre wing. He reaches a footy. Friars well tackle. Got, a, uh, got clear of it, uh, Alice. Chips it in board to Handley. Vincent. And he's uh, now back in the centre corridor. We'll go long towards full forward. The wind's holding that up. Chris Barnett comes across the face of the pack, doesn't uh, contest the footy, comes to ground. Picked up by uh, Priddle. Ball uh, smothered off his boot. Gee, they're in a bit of uh, a bind here in defence. The north has uh, Rhys Norrish eventually picks the footy up. He had... Uh, Jackamoff out on centre wing. He's beaten by numbers. The ball comes back there to oh, Marty Handley. Uh, Hardman. And Hardman there oh. intercepted. His pocket. <laughs> a long handball over to Fitzsimmons. Where did he uh, handball that? Well, uh, there it's uh, where it went because Manning was going along the boundary line at a rate of knots. He handballed into his path. Now he goes in. Oh, Vessi, oh, pretty arc. poor effort there because he just <laughs> cannoned numbers against him. It was a poor effort oh. of a kick, but... Uh, Gee, they're making some blunders uh, now. Belpo still in defence as well. He's had plenty of time oh. and he's kicked it straight in the arms there of Elzinger. But a good contest there and the ball comes to ground. Now they're forced backwards as the uh, handball comes to McAuliffe. He eludes a tackle, chips it back in board to Marinovic. He takes the mark at centre-half back. I thought he was going to slow it down but plays on quickly. Uh, maybe, oh, Barnett, a shade late on that occasion. And Lorgerson in the middle of the ground for Belpo still takes the mark. Lorgerson to Sean Lewis under the pump. Back to Lorgerson. Tries to beat and does beat Weiss. Gets a right foot kick in. Who's there for Hanley. the Panthers? It's Hanley. Vincent at the back. I don't know where Marty's been since quarter time. I've just noticed he hasn't been on the ground. Must be injured. Vincent Hanley's got to beat two or three. Gee whiz. He's, uh, I, I, lucky the boundary line was there for him. He, he's been able to use it because he had no help. No, that. No. So a boundary throw in, forward pocket for Bell Post Hill. They trail by plenty. I'm just uh, checking. They trail by 38 points. And we've gone 22 minutes in this third term. So they need one up here. Mario Zitko coming off. I think he's been troubled by cramp for a few minutes as uh, Habib comes on into the forward half for North Geelong. Bell Post Hill now, off hands. Page around the body. Vincent Hanley's been busy in this term. Just needs a bit of luck. Kicks it off the ground. Point. No luck. Off to the right. See, it was uh, quick thinking, wasn't it? Well, it was. In the, yeah, yeah. He didn't have much help there. So 2-2 two, two off the boot of uh, Vincent Hanley, and that's the eights behind for Bell Post Hill. 9 8 62. They trail North Geelong 14 15 99. Haven't scored for a while, North, at the uh, 22 minute mark in the Raiders Bingo second quarter. The kick in there has come to Alzinger. Well, he's mucking around with it. Going to lose it as uh, Belpo still through Urquhart. Pick up the footy. Umpire set a push in the back. And the player making the uh, the game was, uh, ooh, I reckon he's going to do 52. You and that's, to. That, that's against the uh, North Geelong player. And that's uh, pretty Kids. slack. It was Matheson. Instead of giving the ball back to the player, he threw it away and uh, he's trying to plead his case with the umpire, but... Uh, it's not going to help. Not going to help at all because uh, he's made the blunder and uh, as we said before, Loz, it's, it's the quarters of two halves, aren't they? <laughs> because Belpo's still in the second half of this third quarter and they're starting to come back. And a goal here from Urquhart, well, giving them a little bit of heart and he's done he's, that. He's done it. So Will Urquhart kicks his first for the game. And the tenth for the Bell Post Hill side. 10, 8, 68. And they just keep coming, slowly but surely. 14, 15, 99, North Geelong. Raiders bingo third quarter scoreboard, 23 minutes gone. Yeah, well, I hope the uh, players and the umpires work out the, why all these 50-metre penalties are for, because uh, they get pretty boring, I reckon, uh, sitting in the box watching them. So, um, gee, what was that all about? Well, that's a uh, progress score at Geelong. I think if I heard right, Geelong are 18 goals, 6, and Kangaroos are 7, 8. I think they're home. So that, that's a very rough, good rough, choice. Rough chance to Kangaroos? No. And uh, 15 goals to 11, Bulldogs leading Melbourne. So a couple of interesting scores. I'm pleased uh, for our sake, Loz. Yeah, yeah. Collingwood not playing. <laughs> yeah, the, the, <laughs> the Cats are home again next week, aren't they? Yes, yes. It's all set up for them, isn't it? Ball back in the middle of the... About <laughs> the time, time, had a bit of luck. <laughs> Knocked down. No one really wins it. Off the uh, short break, Sean Lewis driving right foot kick inside 50. Looking for Hardy, swats it to Page. They're coming again, Bell Post Hill. Page, gee whiz, he's under the pump. There's two or three of them That's in the way. That's a good play. Ferslund comes in to help him out. 
Barnett back on it. It's a hot spot. No one really wants it. They want the boundary line here. Just a dribble yeah. kick around the body. Priddle, good play for the Magpies. He's got it. He did pretty well, Priddle, there. He's run about 50 metres in, in basically continual contest. So the ball to be thrown in. Centre wing, broadcast side. Should be a free kick, no. Play on calls the umpire. Still with the Magpies, though. Winds up with Manning in the middle of the ground. Has a bit of a look. Takes a bounce. Runs through the centre circle. Right foot kick wide. Fitzsimmons Ooh. just presents magnificently out in front of Vince Hanley. Takes the mark. Wants to move it quickly. He's going to be kicking from just on 50. They've manned up pretty well. No one to kick to. He's going to have to have a shot, Fitzsimmons. 25 minutes into the third term. Fitzsimmons from a long way out. Just... Steady, steady, steady now. I don't think he fancies himself too much, Laurie, from out there. No, he'll put it right up, though, I think. Fitzsimmons now. He'll run to 49. Good-looking kick off the boot. Has it got the legs? Oh, Off-hand, his own I man touched it. I think it might have been a North, Mel North, North, North Geelong. Geelong man yeah. touch it. And Djokovic, I reckon it might have been. Actually. One behind the result. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful kick. Yeah, good contact. That's 100 up. 14-16, 100, North Geelong. They lead Belpo still 10 8, 68. Raiders Bingo third quarter scoreboard. 25 and a half minutes gone. We're into time on. So it's probably a very important five minutes in the context of the game, Laurie, here that uh, North really need a score or two to uh, get back to the uh, ascendancy they had. Yeah, well, I suppose you've got to let Belpo still into the game a bit, but uh, they, they, they got the use of the breeze, North, Eric. They'd want a couple more. Well, Belpo still from full back to Popovic. Popovoski, sorry. Nearly got it right. <laughs> Page on the wing. Drops what he should have taken. Flopped into the ground, Marty Handley. We were talking about him earlier on. He's just a bit of an arm wrestle on with his opponent now, and the umpire will come in and uh, ball it up right in front of us. Chris Barnett's had a quiet quarter. Yeah. <laughs> Popovsky. Popovsky. I've got it. And there's the ball up. No one really takes it. Holiday. Uh, he's lying on his back. Gets the hand pass only as far as um, Elzinger. Here come the Magpies now. Hardman on the end of the hand pass to full oh, four. Oh, Vessi. Vessi. No, taken away from him by um, uh, Broughton, it is. Into the middle of the ground. Opportunity now for Ellis. And Bell Post till Ellis King. has kicked King. Oh, and he cops one high, too. Don't <laughs> no, worry, Kingy. He cops one high. I think uh, <laughs> it was Nathan it. Lewis. Yeah. He's just saying, son, I'm just me just you've got more hair than me. I was just measuring it against me wrist to see how long it is. <laughs> Good call. Oh, dear. So, uh, King with a oh, footy. Matt King. Matt, he wouldn't have kicked too many goals in his career. He might yeah, think of having a go. I don't think he'll kick one from there either. 60 metres out. Gives it a good ride. Very good ride. Back of the pack. Who's down? There's somebody's Elsie. down. Todd Elsie. Has it is Elsie. Yes, he has. Oh, great. Oh, nicely goal. done. Fifth goal for him. And that's a terrific effort late in the quarter. He, he, he contested the mark, but he was the first to recover. And there's a player down up there, a Belfast Hill player. It doesn't look too uh, too good, so uh, hopefully the trainers will get out there pretty quickly. That's the 15th goal for North Geelong. 15, 16, 106. Belfast Hill, 10, 8, 68. Raiders Bingo, third quarter scoreboard. 27 and a half minutes gone. And uh, that's probably just really what the doctor ordered late north. Yeah. He's tried to get to his feet, whoever that is, and he's not... Uh, he's right now. Not now. No, he's not too good. He's a bit groggy. Good. You know, that's their first goal since the 12-minute mark of the term. Is that right? So yep. that's interesting. Well, that's youth for you, though, Eric. They were able to get a goal from there. Jumped up on yes. it quickly while yeah. everyone's uh, lost their footing and uh, was, was able to kick a goal. Good stuff. Ball back in the middle of the ground now. Close to three-quarter time. Nathan Lewis, just a cruel bounce. Couldn't control it. Kicking in danger. Kennedy with a football for the Magpies. Off, feeds it off to Weiss. One way, then the other. Then Weiss gets it to Priddle. Just a lazy little Hardman. kick towards Hardman. Hardman. It. Hardman at centre half forward wants to move it quickly, does so. Who's on the burst for him? Manning or Vesey? N ordinary kick. Bell Post Hill will defend nicely. Well, they'll defend not nicely because <laughs> it's kicked straight to Priddle, who's taken it on his chest on the, the offensive uh, side of the centre square. Kicks it wide this time. Very wide. New man on the ground out there for the Magpies is Habib. Went without it. Slipping and sliding down there. Thrown out of the pack. Play on calls the umpire. Fitzsimmons has had a million kicks in this term. Just under the pump. Left foot kick. Probably wanted the boundary and got it in the end in front of Vincent Handley. Throw in. So, so the uh, Belpo still player has been brought off without going through the interchange. So uh, I think they're in a bit of strife. He won't be able to come back on. Certainly maybe he's not in any condition to. I can't pick him up just uh, quickly. But the ball's thrown in. Habib went without it. 
picked up there by, uh, it looked like Sean Lewis kicked toward the boundary. Well done. Um, umpire boundary, umpire fairway behind, but he has put the whistle to mouth and suggested that uh, the ball had gone over the boundary line. So the ball's coming back to the uh, 50 metre arc, or near enough to, as the ball's thrown in once again. At the back, Angelkovic, he went without it. Picked up by uh, Alice for Bellpost Hill. Kicks to the middle of the ground. Numbers with Bellpost in the uh, middle of the pack is Lee Holiday. Handball quickly to uh, advantage by Backley, but he can't get away. A quick kick. So oh. Oh, Norris, courage, picks it up. Oh, shocking kick and up and under. It's going to be uh, contested there between Priddle and his opponent there in Lorgerson. He just uh, butters along the ground there. Um, Priddle kicked off the ground by Alzinga. It's to advantage for a bell post tool. It comes back into the middle. Mark taken there by uh, Holiday. True centre of the ground. Decides to go long. A goal now would be handy late in the quarter, but uh, numbers with North. But at the front of the pack, good front and square for bell post tool. The bounce important here as it's kicked towards full forward. Unfortunately, not kind to any of the players, and Glenn Hammond sees it over the boundary line ahead of he and uh, Darren Matheson for North Geelong. So very late in the third quarter, 30 minutes gone. The ball is out of bounds. I think the boundary umpire might need a bus or a taxi to get up there. <laughs> He's really struggling. The, ball, the ball's certainly moved from end to end, Laurie, pretty quickly through the day. Yeah, they have, Eric. Uh, both sides move, do move it quickly. Just that North Geelong movement much more precise than uh, Bell Post still. So boundary umpire now with the footy comes well in. That's a good thing to do. Good throw in. Weiss in front, taps it forward to uh, the advantage of Nathan Lewis for Bellpost Hill. He's uh, got Manning pretty close to him, hooks it around the body. Oh, read the ball well, Matheson, and took the safe overhead mark. Only player to go for it. Now he's uh, chipped it wide, and they're just playing possession football now as Priddle takes the mark in the back pocket. He chips it wide again. Matty King, oh, Ooh, unfortunately, the kick wasn't too good. Urquhart now picks it up to the turnover. Oh, Barnett. Really was impeded by Ellis, but able to uh, get around him, take the mark. Now they're away north. If Kennedy can take the mark, he can't in the middle. And uh, Backley comes in, takes it off him. Handball out wide to Vincent Hanley. Hooks it round the body on the left foot to Urquhart, taken just outside 50. Kicks it quickly inside 50 to uh, full forward. Oh, great roving on that occasion. That was by uh, Rasmoski. Unfortunately, he's tackled immediately. He kicked the footy and uh, off the side of the boot through for a behind. A goal there would have been handy for them, but it wasn't to be. 10-9-69, Bell Post Hill. They trail North Geelong 15-16-106. Raiders bingo finals quarter scoreboard 32 minutes gone. Gee, long quarters, long quarters. Elzinger to put the ball back into play. It's his turn. They've all had a crack, I think. Elsinger just keeps it long and low. Danger. Clears, uh, clean bowls everybody. Fries back to Hardman. Flips it on to Manning. Back to Hardman. Hardman went without it. They've still got possession. The Magpies never say die. Winds up with Fries again. Right foots it to centre half forward. Elsie on the burst. Gee whiz, but, that's training drill stuff, Laurie. Yeah, but they look much better when LC leads. So this will, be, <coughs> this will be an important kick here. The, the man on the mark's at about 48 metres, I reckon. So this will be a huge kick. He can kick the footy, the young fellow. If anything, the wind is probably behind him. But the siren has sounded. It's a bit of pressure. All eyes on Todd Elsie. He's already got five to his name. Young boy. Moves in. Siren sounded. It's not a bad looking kick off the boot. In fact, it's a very good kick for length, unfortunately, just offline. So just had to stretch a bit for it, didn't he? Five goals, two off the boot of Todd Elsie, and that is three quarter time. And the score reads North Geelong, 15 goals, 17, 107, and they lead Belpost Hill, 10, 9, 69. Goal kickers to three quarter time for North Geelong, Todd Elsie, five. Two to Lee Hardman, Mario Zitko, Shane Manning, and Chris Ryder. And one each to Mark Angelkovic and Derek Fitzsimmons for Belpost Hill. Vincent Handley, two. And each of the following have one goal to their credit. Will Urquhart, Joel Page, Brent Harty, Matthew Ellis, Travis Fursland, Tim Broughton and Simon Lorgerson. So at three-quarter time, 15-17, 107 North. They lead Belpost Hill 10-9-69. We'll go to a break.